In this exercise, we will be completing the step 2.1 for getting the data from the server. Now to get the data from the server, we have five rules. So any type of data, whenever you want from the server, you have to follow these five steps. You have to create an URL because in client server architect, URL gives you the address where the data is stored. From the URL, you need to create a request because client server architect is basically request response system. From the request, you have to create a connection object. Through connection object, you should get the response. And then through the same connection object, you will start getting the data. Now for data, every so data will be transmitted in a form of raw, by, raw bytes. Every programming language or the framework have their own representation of byte array. Similarly, in Swift or in Cocoa Touch Foundation, uh, Cocoa Touch fra uh, framework for framework or the uh, library we have something called web data of type NS mutable data. Now, why we use NS mutable data? Because we don't know the length of the byte which will be coming from the server. So, mutable data means variable length of byte array. So, first step. Please ignore the SOAP message, we'll come to this later on. So first step, we'll be creating a URL. So basically my SOAP web service is hosted on this particular link. So I'll copy this link and open that link in Safari. So I just open the link. So this link web service have two methods get terror safety tips and insert tip. So we are interested in getting the terror safety tips. So I click on the get terror safety tips and I zoom. This is a request format of the SOAP and this is a response which will I'll get from the server in an XML format. So SOAP message is exactly what you are, I have highlighted. So it has get terror safety tips as the method name in a body tag and in a response you will be getting the result in an XML format. So same message is been written here. So in order to make sure that we copy paste the same request, we created a SOAP message. Now from the URL you will be creating a mutable request. So we have created a step 2. We created a request object from the URL. Now, the following few lines are basically for the HTTP header. So we have to create a HTTP header field called content type. So we say the content which will be transmitted between the server and the client will be in form of text and XML. The content length is nothing but the message length of the request. So we have a function called count elements which take the string to give you the count of the characters in that string. So we, the method which we use to request the server is post and the request data which is a SOAP message which will be writing in which will be encoded in UTF-8 string. So if data, if the default encryption or encoding is not mentioned then we use UTF-8 string encoding. SKI is not more used in the system. And from that request, we create a connection called NSURL connection and delegate self. So connection, basically your SOAP tip parser creates another sub agent called NSURL connection. And we, SOAP tip parser tells the NSURL connection that I will, you need to interrupt me when you get the response. You should interrupt me when you start getting the data. You should interrupt me when you complete collecting the data from the server. And you should interrupt me if there is any sort of error while collecting the data. So in the next exercise, we will be implementing all the needed callbacks of the NSURL connection delegate. And we will be seeing all those, we will be implementing those respective callbacks and we will be printing the data which is coming from the server in the console.